Despite several programs to address deforestation in Zimbabwe, the rate of destruction continues to exceed afforestation efforts. Communities have now realized the need to adopt a more integrated approach to resource management. Communities in Manikaland province in Zimbabwe have now joined forces with Environment Africa and the Food Agriculture Organization. With funding from the European Union, the partnership aims to enhance the capacity of communities to be resilient against the effects of climate change. Forests have got a stake, they've got a role to play in the life, lives of the people. They've got a role to play in terms of uh, sustaining the lives of rural communities. What is happening now is that uh, agriculture is really not performing as, as it was in the past because of issues to do with climate change. So we are saying, uh, as forest forces, forests can provide alternatives, can be an alternative source of livelihood for communities so that they complement whatever is coming from, from, from agriculture. The Forest Forces program is assisting residents of Manikaland province to establish woodlots. The communities now appreciate the importance of trees as they can have a ready source for energy and potential revenue, which will be realized through the sale of timber to lumber companies in the region. Zimbabwe's total forest area covers about 60% of the country, and forest resources account for about 3% of the gross domestic product. Maria Galang, CCTV.